Depending on the situation, you either have an internal locus of control or an external one. What is a locus of control? The locus of control has two sides, the external side and the internal side. With an external locus of control, you're always thinking that everything that's going on around you is happening to you, while with an internal locus of control, you believe that everything going on around you and everything affecting you is a direct result of your actions. In my school, primarily in music class, they would always talk about these things, a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. And with the fixed mindset, it would be that you didn't want to learn anything. But with the growth mindset, it was all about learning and you know growing. What they advertised with the fixed mindset was that it was someone who didn't want to learn and thought that they didn't need to grow at all. Their mind was fixed in position. It's essentially the same thing as the locus of control. The fixed mindset would make up excuses for every little problem and blame the things happening to them on other people or anything that they could blame it on. While with the growth mindset, they would believe everything was the result of their actions. So if they made a mistake, it was their fault. The locus of control shares with you two ways of perceiving a situation, two different lights. For example, you're really looking for a promotion from your boss, but then you don't get it. With the external locus of control, you're gonna say, I didn't get it because my boss hates me, or you'll make up some excuse. But with the internal locus of control, you'll say, I probably didn't work hard enough. You'll always blame it on your actions and someone with an internal locus of control, they'll always be looking for a way for them to improve upon what they did prior. And in the end, it may be true that your boss just doesn't really like you and that's why you didn't get the promotion. But in the long run, sitting around and just, think, and just feeling sad about it isn't gonna help. But having an internal locus of control and focusing on what you can do to change your situation is going to help. Many people blame their situation and how they live onto other people. And someone with a very drastic external locus of control is probably a very hateful person who just shoves blame onto other people any chance that they get. You may find that it's often the default to just find an excuse for your situation or for your problems and to blame it on, on the system or something. And that's a very natural thing for humans to do because we're like a tribal species and we don't wanna and we don't wanna like look bad in front of everyone. So we're just like, oh this uh, well this happened because because of them, not me. People with an external locus of control are waiting for things to be given to them. They're waiting for that like random stock they invested in to go up seven hundred and seventy percent or something and they'll become a millionaire. They're just waiting to to become successful or make money. They're always waiting for things. And that's the light that they perceive the world under. People with an external locus of control also seem to be the types of people who will look at something that took a lot of effort or trial and error to complete, something that took a lot of skill and ability, and they'll immediately come up with an excuse and they'll disprove it and they'll come up with an excuse that aligns with the external locus of control to make themselves feel better. There seems to be a smaller demographic of people with an internal locus of control. And the people with a very drastic internal locus of control are the types of people who see every problem as their problem. These are the really humble, nice types of people who will like, they'll see a problem which honestly, like slightly is their fault, but mostly probably is not their fault. And they'll say it was their fault. It was, it's their problem. And they'll tell themselves or they'll say out loud, something that they could have done better in this situation. People with an internal locus of control don't wait for things to be given to them. They go out and they take action. The types of people who have an internal locus of control are always working towards positive goals and they never blame other people for their failures or for their problems. So listening to all this, what do you think your locus of control is? To figure it out, think of something bad that happened to you recently, probably in like the last month or so, or maybe even better in the last week, and just think about, just think, how did you react to that situation? Did you react with an internal locus of control, or did you react with an external one? Something which happened to me today is I went to the bank, and 
the bank was closed, so I had to walk all the way home. And that was unfortunate, and I could have just been like, oh, why was the bank closed and get all mad or something. But there was probably a way for me to have checked first if the bank was open online, or there was probably something else which I could have done which would have lowered the chances of me walking all the way there and then having to come all the way back without getting anything. I reacted to that situation with an internal locus of control rather than an external one. For example, an external locus of control would just be like, I can't believe the bank's closed, ah, this always happens to me. And just, and they would just like, someone with an external locus of control just thinks that things are happening to them. But someone with an internal locus of control thinks about what they could have done better to address this issue. They think about how their actions resulted in this outcome. I'd highly, highly recommend that you try to adopt an internal locus of control. That's all for this video. Sub to the channel for more videos like this one, and I will be there in the next video.